So, um, we're, we're putting the NFL team in Alaska. Now, we can choose all these names, but like we're gonna go with the Alaska Antlers because I think that is the stupidest name you could come up with. Um, and you know, we're gonna pick a stadium and you know, it's Alaska, so it's cold, right? So you're gonna pick you know, a dome or a retractable roof. No, we're gonna play outdoors because we're playing in the forest. <laughs> um, the Chicago Bears have been bought by Alaska Man and we're, we're, we're taking them to Anchorage. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know what the goal is of this series. I don't know what the future is of the series. However, I know that Madden did actually add new cities to the game, which is cool. I mean, it's about damn time. Like, it, great. We added Oklahoma City, Tokyo, uh, Paris, uh, Frankfurt. I don't know. Munich. I, I don't know. They added new cities. Like, again, it's something that's just so basic that they could have added a long time ago, but it's finally in the game and we're taking the Chicago Bears straight to Alaska because because why not? They play in the NFC North. This is still North. This makes sense. And we have a really solid team to build, build around. You got Justin Fields at quarterback. You got DJ Moore at receiver. You've got, you know, Darnell Mooney as well. Those are your weapons. And I think, of course, if you haven't seen the Houston Texans franchise mode here on the channel, folks, go check it out. Link will be in the description down below. We play both offense and defense on that series. And now it has not been translating into too many great, you know, end results. However, we are just going to be playing offense on this series and really just watching Justin Fields progress as to, to potentially an MVP quarterback playing in Anchorage. So here it is, the forest. I'm surprised it's not snowing, but I mean, I guess it doesn't always snow in Alaska. It is September in Alaska. I'm no Alaska expert. I don't know if it snows in Alaska in September. I'd assume it would, but maybe not. Anyways, your quarterback matchup tonight between the formerly known Chicago Bears, now of course, the Alaska Antlers. It's a really stupid name. Like if this actually happened, they'd be a clown in real life. Because Antlers, I mean like, my goodness, ooh, this, it's, it's like, it's a part of an animal. So like, we're not like the deer, we're not the moose. I think the Alaska moose would be kind of cool. Are we Anchorage? I don't know. Hey, we got the confetti going on. We got the pyro going on here in Anchorage as well. For this Antlers and Packers matchup, the first one of its kind here in this rivalry between the Packers and the Bears. And I, I don't understand what, what happened to Jordan Love. I think he got injured in the preseason. So Teddy Bridgewater is starting. Great. Uh, he signed with the Lions in real life, but I guess in the game now he's going to be on the Packers. Uh, that's cool. Again, this is going to be an absolute shit fest with this Anchorage team because, again, you have the Bears in real life who are coming off back to back seasons with the first overall pick. Of course, they traded out of it. They got rid of that number one spot. They gave it to the Panthers. They got a hefty return for that. Obviously, Carolina went out and went out and to pick um, Bryce Young. And obviously, the Bears did not need Bryce Young and they didn't really need any player at that spot at number two. They didn't need a CJ Stroud. They didn't need an Anthony Rich. Richardson, so we still have Justin Fields. And again, the goal of the series is to make Justin Fields a MVP caliber quarterback, quarterback, if not an all pro caliber quarterback, because that's possible. Like on a fourth and three, he's going to find Darnell Mooney the outside. We're going to try to both develop his passing and his running abilities as well. Because seriously, again, if the Bears or I guess the Antlers in this you know world can really, you know, work in Justin Fields with a really good offense, this guy can be special. I mean, you saw what he was able to do at Ohio State. You saw what he was able to make out of his opportunities with this Bears team so far in his career, even though they've been really bad so far. So if we can really put together an offense, we're going to be good. I mean, as you see right there, Khalil Herbert's going to rush in for a touchdown. It's going to be a punch and touchdown from the goal line for the Antlers, as that is the first score in Anchorage football history. 7-0 our score, thanks to Khalil Herbert's rushing touchdown. We get the football back, still up 7-0. Justin Fields is going to keep on a read option. And look at Justin Fields work. He's going to take it all the way down the sidelines. And my goodness, he is off. Justin Fields dives into the end zone and the Antlers go up 14 to nothing. Thanks to the rushing touchdown by the captain at number one, Justin Fields. And folks, if you have not yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Madden 24 here on the channel. We're going to have this series going on the channel along with that series with the Houston Texans as well. And look at Fields trying to thread the needle. Of course, that one's going to be incomplete going over to DJ Moore, who of course was brought in from the Panthers this season, of course, in the off season. Fields trying to make the most of his opportunities right there. Going to step up in the pocket and somehow get it to DJ Moore. And this is an Antlers team who's up 14 to nothing. I mean, I mean, look at them work. I mean, th this is Alaska football right now. So Justin Fields not working out of an empty pocket. He'll drop back. He will find a wide open DJ Moore. I mean, maybe Green Bay's just not used to the atmosphere in Alaska. It's not like we just moved our team here a week ago during the preseason. But again, Justin Fields looking him run. Oh my goodness, like that TikTok meme of Justin Fields. 
Never mind, he threw a pick. But again, we're up 14 0. It should be fine. Let's hope the defense can stop not Jordan Love, but instead at Teddy Bridgewater. They won't. It's a 14 7 game. It's fine. We'll get the ball back here as Fields is going to find Cleal Herbert. Herbert should have the first down. Maybe I think he got out of bounds. Just trying to get into fuel range again. Trying to make it a 17 7 game going into the second half. Justin Fields dropping back. Three tight ends in the game. He's got room to run. Said he's going to heave it up. And my goodness, look at DJ Moore. No Jair Alexander on him, so DJ Moore will pick up the big first down. Seven seconds to go. There will be time for Chicago to try to punch it in the end zone, and that's what they're going to do. Justin Fields will connect with DJ Moore once more, paying more off for that big catch that he made just a couple moments ago. And the Anchorage Antlers. It's going to take me a while to remember that name and pronounce that name um, in a fast succession, but 21 to 7 is the score now for Anchorage. They will still have the football. Justin Fields scrambling to his right, looking to throw, and he will get it off to DJ Moore. Everything is clicking right now for the team formerly known as the Chicago Bears. DJ Moore for the first down. It's now a second and six for the Bears. Now the Antlers. Again, I keep wanting to call them the Bears. I mean, look at the uniforms, though. You see, at the, you know, the Right there, that's a good shot of Mooney. Look at the front of the jersey, they're literal antlers. I mean, it's a stupid design, it's a funny design. It fits Alaska, right? There's gotta be like, I know for a fact that there's moose in Alaska, right? I mean, there's bears. However, Fields, again, back on it, finding Darnell Mooney for the score. I mean, I just like how this has turned into an Alaska history lesson. Cause I, again, I think this is a lot more fun if, you know, we went to Hawaii. Like, what are we gonna do in Hawaii? Like, there's actual great conditions out there. I know, you know, the Hawaii football team, the Rainbow Warriors are now out of their little spot that they had at the, uh, the Pro Bowl. I think they're playing at some like really small soccer stadium now. But again, there's no fun if we went to Honolulu or Maui, who unfortunately Maui, I don't know what, you know, Maui's on fire right now. I think it still is. That really sucks. Um, prayers to the people over there. But yeah, like, again, this is a lot more fun than if we went to Hawaii. Because now we're in Alaska. Hopefully Madden actually responds with some snow. Um, if we're on primetime at home in Chicago, or what was supposed to be Chicago now, Anchorage, the games actually should be still light because I believe Alaska is three hours behind, I think. Or are they two? I think they're two. I think. And then Hawaii's three. I think it's either that or Hawaii's two and Alaska's three. However, like when primetime games start in Alaska, or at least for, you know, viewers on the West Coast, when Sunday Night Football starts at 520. In Anchorage, that's that's going to start at 320 or 220. So really, we shouldn't have a night game. Obviously, Madden, we can tell right now, it doesn't have this working as Justin Fields will score on a quarterback power. But yeah, it's, you know, it's night. This game started at 425, which would be, I think, at the very least 225 Alaska time. It would not be dark by... 4:30 in Alaska. I mean, aren't there some days in Alaska where it literally never becomes light? I think I saw that once. But again, despite that, Anchorage is absolutely killing Green Bay. And by the way, the players aren't even cold here. I'm, sh I'm sure it's warm sometimes in Alaska. But Justin Fields and most of the guys in the field are wearing no sleeves. Fields scores yet again, though. Another rushing touchdown for him. This has been all Anchorage so far here tonight. And the first ever Alaskan football game is going to go in favor of the home team, Dub Arrow. The, the antlers, right. Uh, Green Bay is going to recover a fumble right there. It's fine. The score is 42 to 17. We're going to get the football back one more time with 30 seconds to go. I just want to show you this run. Look at Khalil Herbert right here. He gets through the hole, breaks one, breaks two, breaks three. He's still running and he's going to break a fourth and eventually he's going to get brought down. I mean, an angry run right there by Khalil Herbert and it is all angry here tonight. They are victorious. They are your winners. And I think we should just call them the Alaskan football team because like that's again how the Washington Commanders before the Washington Commanders or the formerly known as the Washington Redskins became when they were in that limbo period. Period. I think it'd just be funny. I, the, actually, no. The Antlers is a really stupid and funny name, too. Besides the point, though, folks, we win our opener here with the Anchorage Antlers. They are victorious in week number one against their rivals in the Green Bay Packers. Again, we still have that Bears lineage and that Bears history. 42 to 17 is your final. The Antlers pick up the W, and they are 1-0 here in this 2023 NFL regular season. So, folks, thank you all for watching the first episode of whatever this series is going to be. Anchorage is victorious, 42 to 17. I will see y'all tomorrow. Folks, thank you for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba, forever.